Ah, uh, the locals. Such an interesting place to find the most interesting of people. Wonder if anyone wants to face my super stally cyber dragons. Stalling cyber dragons, you freaking pleb! Why do you waste your time on such a mismatched deck? What? So who might you be, person I've clearly never met before? I'm a person who's about to slap you around with a better stall deck, that- I'ma let you finish, but my cyber dragon's a beast. Bitch, please, I made a Konami judge worried he was misplaying lineups in their prime. Well, well uh... I, uh, managed to beat his actors. Anyone can do that with eternal rest. You wanna go, mate? You wanna take this outside? Attention, Attention duelists! Due to unforeseen, unforeseen circumstances, circumstances involving a banana, banana the, the tournament, tournament will not begin for another while longer. So it's calm down, you plebs! Well, the Battle of the Stall can take a few hours, so let's stick through the streets, my nigga. Alright, let's go! Twelve seconds later. Ow! What'd you trip on? Uh, let me see. A rant on the current ban list made by a user named Dual Juno? Is that even the correct pronunciation? Well, what's it like? A lot of rage. You know, the usual. Well, fuck the duel. That sounds much more entertaining to watch. Alrighty, get your game on! Hey, Kevin Tewart, I have an idea for you. Stop making bad band lists. For fuck's sake. Most of the shit is from the adjusted list, you know, that they, they now put it on the official band list. But look at this shit. Chicken game banned. Oh, because FTK says so. Why not hit Life Equalizer then? Because Life Equalizer doesn't open up for FTKs as well as Chicken Game does. You know, like Exodia. That and comparing the two cards, Life Equalizer is a lot more situational, requiring a bunch of cards to be played beforehand to meet its conditions. You know, like Temple of the Kings, just as an example. You know, something that's not as searchable as Chicken Game is with terraforming. On top of that, Chicken Game can be used technically six times when you take into account pseudospace exists. And let's not forget the fact that Chicken Game also grants the person with fewer life points the ability to take no damage whatsoever. Which, when you're playing something like Exodia, is a major help if even after all the draws you don't get all five pieces. Not only that, but later in this video you ask Konami to hit the cause, not the symptom. Well, Life Equalizer can only be activated if the life point difference is 8,000 or more. Taking into account what I said earlier about the six time use and being able to pay basically 6,000 life points, plus three upstart goblins, it really isn't that difficult to reach 8,000 or more with Chicken Game at 3. Do we need to go on? Because that's the FDK most people are afraid of. Nobody gives a shit about Exodia, you know? Nobody gives a fuck about Exodia, huh? Nobody fucking gives a fuck about Exodia! You fucking what, mate? Before Doodle strangles someone, allow me. If no one cared about Exodia, then one, why did Konami recently release new direct support for it in the form of a trap and a new monster, and two, why do you think people bring it up so much as a reason to hit cards that grant the player a great deal of draw power? Not to mention if nobody cared, then why are all five pieces still limited, you freaking fuckwit? Life Equalizer. That's the thing. Oh man. V Wavering Ice Bent. Okay, why didn't you just limit this shit? Why did you immediately ban this? Consider the following. The top deck in the past six months have been Performa Pals, a deck that kind of relies on its Pendulum Monsters. And sure, they hit the searchers for that deck in particular, but Wavering Eyes basically makes an opening hand of two Pendulum Monsters a hand of opening with Monkey Board or Skull Cravat Joker. Basically, it was a card that added extra search for decks like that, which did not need extra search. And going to your question about limiting it, while it does lower the chance of getting it to your hand, let's face it, all the tiered decks search so much that the amount of chance that goes into drawing a limited card from your deck becomes moot. It's like hashtag free my nigga Stratos. Try again. Let's go further. L uh, that's from the adjusted list, you know? All that bullshit. Wisdom Eye. Why did you fucking limit Wisdom Eye? Well, the simple answer is he's an easy search for a card that turns an Xyz monster's rank into a level. Along with just about everything a Magician Pendulum deck could ever need. In short, a card for every circumstance. Like hashtag free by nigga Stratos! And by the way, most of these, like, rant about the hits that, that are on this list, you know, are from my personal view because two of these cards hurt me the most. Wisdom Eye and Reasoning. Why? 
I bought, f I, I got a fucking Inferno deck like a month ago. It was so much fun for me, you know? I could finally afford it. I don't have that much money to uh, for you for Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? It's a hobby for me. And I got my hands on Monster Reborn literally days before it got banned. Your point? And I don't play like YCS level shit. I'm like regional. Nationals are the highest level that I play at, you know? So I don't play all the I meta, don't you know? Care. I never won We're a national. Skipping. Never. <laughs>
yet so far. So Konami doesn't give a fuck about the FTK decks. Well, I guess that explains why cards like Match Driver, Dimension Fusion, Card to Save Return, Ultimate Offering, Victory Dragon, Mind Master, and Substitute are all still legal. Until you realize they aren't, and that was sarcasm to the toppest degree. Not to mention, every piece of Exodia is still at one. And only recently did we get our errata of Dark Magician of Chaos, which was a big card and used in FTK decks. So remind me how Konami doesn't care about FTK decks, because I'm confused. Nobody gave a shit about Upstart Goblin either. It was a nice card to just tack in, you know, because you... Oh, I only have 37 cards. Let's just put in free Upstart Goblin. Upstart Goblin wasn't a bad card. And if, and if I see one person go, oh, Exodia FT... There's so many other things you can do to hit Exodia FTKs. I thought you wanted them to hit the root of the problem head on. Which is draw power. Do you want to stay consistent or do I have to slap consistency into you? Look at this ship. And, okay. The Breed Dragon. Okay, Allure of Darkness. Yeah, you know what this, what Cosmo's gonna do? I'm, because, look at this. Emergency Teleport is semi-limited. You know what they're gonna do? Just gonna put in one Allure of Darkness. They don't give a shit. You know, besides the fact that in Cosmos, the difference between draw power and directly summoning to the field is quite significant, as pretty much all their effects go off when summoned to the field. Dragon Ravine still semi-limited. Why should we put it any higher? Fuck him. Uh, Dark Magician of Chaos no longer on the list. Took took far too long, you know. Took far too long. And this. F this thing is no longer on the list, you know? So that me to free. Trigodia to free, Advanced Ritual Art, and Crush Card Virus. All this, like, this shit got eroded anyway, you know? What did this list do? Basically nothing. Why didn't Dante get hit? Dante is still running around, Burning Abyss is still strong. He says as Performer Pals, Cosmos, and Monarchs trump the deck with barely any effort with three Solemn Strikes, three Lose Turns, one Regeki, two Dark Holes, one Soul Drain, three Infant Shadow Imprisoning Mirrors, and a Partridge in a Pear Tree. Basically, what I'm saying is, Burning Abyss isn't quite dominating the game as much as some of the other incredibly annoying strong decks are. While it's true that BAs are still quite powerful, they can just barely compete with the previously mentioned decks. Also, if I may, you've given your two cents about the entire ban list at this point, but there's still 12 minutes left in the video? That can only spell great things. No Monarch hits either. Uh, I'm gonna go with no. Reasoning, Norton, did you forget those exist? In other words, your argument is invalid. And you're being dumb. Quit being dumb. And you can say whatever you want, like, oh, this is a good list, you don't know what you're talking about, you're just angry because you can't play your shitty Infernoids anymore. I don't give a damn about that. I don't give a shit. Most of this shit is for what they, what they took from the adjusted list, you know? And they just fucking put it on this list too, you know, because fuck Peppy, anyway. You make it sound like it's a bad thing Pepe is gone. That deck was seriously the most broken thing to hit the metagame. Since Dragon Rulers. Boo hoo, you can't play Odd Eyes in the way you would like. Just play bloody Draco Pals then. Like, how long did that, that deck had like fucking two weeks or something, you know? Two weeks and the immediately adjusted ban list. Chicken game because I think they did that because of life equalizer. There's no other reason why they wouldn't do why they would do it otherwise. And you can say, oh, they don't want FTKs. But fucking think for one second, it's a f Konami is a fucking business. They don't give a shit if that deck's overpowered or not. Tell that to Dragon Rulers nowadays. The deck was so broken it was impossible to get rid of, so much so that they practically hit every single card of the deck. You can't use Redox, Blaster, Tidal, or Tempest in any deck. Yeah, remember how I said quit being dumb? I still mean it. If you're gonna rant about something, at least know what you're talking about. And, you know, Pepe is a broken deck, and they hit that, given they evolved in the Draco Pals, but you can't say they didn't try. You, they can't generate money? Won't get on the list. Well, it, it can't generate money, it will get on the list. That's not, Cosmo still gets support. And that's the only reason I think why they didn't hit it, because they still can get some money on their grubby fingers, you know, because Dark Planet is coming out.
This is a point that really bugs me about people complaining about the ban list. Because while yes, they do keep decks around due to easy money, they also keep certain decks around to give players, new and old, alike to get a chance to play these decks. The only time they have really put the hammer down is when decks are so overpowered, they don't give their opponent a chance to play the fucking game. Like windups, yada lot, and of course, Pepe. You're missing the point of the ban list, and this goes for everyone who has this issue with the ban list. It's more than just money. You know, they do actually give a fuck about their player base, too. What a bunch of assholes. Chicken, oh, life equalizers, 2 OP. Why not hit life equalizer, then? Wavering eyes, oh, why not limit that shit? Why always go and... They're like doctors, you know, that treat patients for some disease, for some certain diseases. And they only treat the symptoms. You know, but they always keep them sick. And the same, it's the same with this game. Konami keeps this game in the state it is, you know? It, it pisses me off. I will quit Yu-Gi-Oh then. No, I won't quit it. I'm too far into this. It's like drugs. You just can't quit forever. I quit multiple times during this game because things pissed me off, but... This just especially pisses me off on a personal level. Because two decks that I have, you know? One uncompleted... And one completed, which I wanted to take to regional next week, because next uh, weekend there's regionals. I wanted to take Inferno with me. You can now say, oh, you wouldn't have a chance with Inferno anyway. I wouldn't have cared. Okay, here's my question. If you really didn't care, then why did you just go on a tangent? You could have ended this rant at around the six minute mark, but you're like, nope, let me just go on a tangent for ten bloody minutes. With that in mind, final thoughts. Because, oh my god, do you say nothing else the rest of this video except fuck Kevin and this list is a fucking joke because I can't play my decks. Alright, where to begin? I really have no idea why this couldn't have just ended it around the six minute mark. As by then, you've talked about just about every new card on the list. Given your arguments were very flimsy, but that's besides the point. Pretty much all of this boils down to you being salty about this list because it hit cards you played in decks you particularly liked. Here's the thing though, if you can't learn to adapt to sudden and otherwise abrupt changes that occur within the game, then quite frankly it benefits you more to just not play the game altogether. My turn. First, yeah, lose the entitled fucking attitude. Konami doesn't owe you shit just because you want to play the meta decks. In fact, the purpose of the ban list is to hit decks that are either played to a large enough extent that it's all anyone ever plays, see Necroz, or is too overpowered for its own good, see Pepe. The fact that you can't seem to understand that this is a problem, because in all honesty, this is a halfway decent list. I mean, sure, there are cards that I would personally take off the list, like Wall of Revealing Light and put some cards on, like Solemn Strike, but as it stands, the list isn't the joke you make it out to be. It's just another instance of someone not understanding the metagame, or really the game at all for that matter, and you should probably sit down and try to learn more about it before making videos like this. Attention, Attention duelists! I'd, I'd like to congratulate Boonslayer for his exceptional victory over all of his opponents today, winning the tournament! Of course, as always, thanks to all who participated, and good day! What? We missed the tournament? Honestly? I'm not surprised. With the guy's rambly delivery, it tends to make time go by a lot faster than it really should. Well, what now? Well, I plan to drink my sorrows away by buying 90 liters of that Pepsi. Wanna come with? Only if I get to poorly sing the Pepsi Man theme song. That tune is my jam. Oh, you thought I was kidding? Pepsi Man! Pepsi Man!